Hey, everybody. Thanks for letting me get up here tonight. I know we're having fun, but I just want to dedicate this to uh, my cousin, Matthew. Woo! We yeah. lost him in uh, oh, Operation oh, Iraqi oh. Freedom, oh. Afghanistan. He spearheaded the charge into Fallujah. We're never going to forget him, man. Okay, this song okay. goes out to him. Yeah, Cousin Matthew, you may be dead, but your memory lives on forever. Here it comes. <laughs> Lesser known characters. Welcome back to another episode of Lesser Known Characters, characters. where we get to, (laughs) where we sit down with some of our favorite people in the world and get to know them through their musical interests. And this has been a highly requested guest. Long time coming. A long time coming. What? Yes. You've been a a highly requested guest. Yeah. Uh, I can't tell you. Yeah. The amount of, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Mr. Mr. Ian, Ian Finance. Finance. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. No, the amount we're, of happy times... to ha- we're happy to have you. But go yeah. Ahead. I don't want to do it anymore. No, no, no. no, 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 no I need yeah, it. No, I need it. To, okay, he fine. Needs to give it to I'm going to drive my car off Van Rice Boulevard. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> if I don't get a compliment. The, uh, the amount of times that I, I do a podcast or whatever, me and Chappelle, and they're like, you guys need, we need to have Joel and Ian and Chappelle in the yeah, same room. Yeah, everyone talks about yeah. this, com- we this did combo it. that yes. needs to happen. Yes, I get that a lot, of, a lot too. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. here you That's are. That's beautiful. I know. Look I'm at pumped. that. I know. That's so, like what the Bone Thugs Tupac said. He said, uh, well, here it is. Here it is. What you going to do with it? He says that? Tu- I think Tupac says it at the beginning of the song. I didn't know that, man. Well, I love, you know, screeching halt. Wow. That was a. Be careful what you wish for, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This turns out to be our worst episode <laughs> ever. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, dude, tie down tickets just went on sale. I know, I saw that. Yes, I saw that. Hey, round two, you, you gonna come? <laughs> I, you know, I actually actually think I could pull it off this year, dude. I'm taking the weekend off. Yeah, I I I I got tickets for us last year. There's a show I gotta tell you about that's happening here. I can't tell you on here yet because they can't announce it. Yes, but man, yes. Well, dude, I saw you down at Disturbing the Peace, and it warmed my heart so oh, much. Oh yeah, yeah. I was that so, was like that was my like experience my, at Tie Down. Yeah, that was my birthday present to myself. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Yeah, I loved it. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was so much. That was fun. so cool to have ended headline oh, in their hometown. Gosh, yes. Yeah, and it was it was dope because H two O went right before them, and yeah, and Toby was like a little. He was a little weird about it. He was like, man, you know, like it's such a young festival. I was like, dog. Trust me, like you're gonna be fine. Like, yeah. like you know, but uh, we all get in our heads about weird, weird shit performance wise. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it, whether we have to follow somebody or whatever, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah. And uh, um, and I was helping Max set up his drums, and uh, th- this is how I knew H2O was gonna have a great set. Everybody was already packed in. Oh, when I was man. helping Max set up his drums, so that's I was like, the best. So, and then that's soon awesome. as Toby walked out and they opened up with uh. Um, five year five plan. year plan. Yeah. I was just like, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> and everybody's just like, dude, you know, that's the best. But they had they had a great set. And, and I, dude, I set. love watching these videos. You like sing with End It and Toby. And oh everything. yeah, yeah, it's so it's much the best, fun. man. I just so there's a band called Going Off. Uh-huh. They're a hardcore band from uh, Manchester, United Kingdom. Oh hell They're yeah. great. They're Manchester. I, re, what's that? Manchester. That's where Oasis from. Oh, that's my yes. Band. We were just talking about Oasis last night. And you came up. Oh, I did. Yeah, I seem to. It seems to happen to me. You yeah, know? happens all the time. But what were you saying though? They uh oh, so they're great, and they hit me up a while back, and they're like, you know, we dig you, and then I got into them, and I'm like, I dig you guys. It's really cool when that happens with yeah. bands, you know. And they asked me to sing vocals on a track for their upcoming <laughs> Hell album. Hell yeah, dude! And I did, and I am so excited. That is. Fucking. And yo, the other night a guy wore a Mad Peaceful shirt to my Shut fucking up. show what? in San no Diego. Way. I swear to God. No way. We got a picture. Yeah. I People did. know yeah. that, man? Yeah. 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 And he tried to trade me that sh- that shirt for the shirt I was wearing. And I was like, <laughs> no, I already have that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fucking yeah. best. Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, you got to see us live whenever you can. I mean, hopefully we'll get... I want to so bad, man. You know? I think that's so cool that you guys do that. I think that's the fucking coolest. It's it's really fucking fun. I mean, yeah. we just kind of like, we take it day by day. We don't yeah. like take ourselves like too serious. But mm-hmm. like when we play, like we play fucking hard. Yeah. Like we go 
one thousand percent. I love it. Like when it comes to the writing, the songs, our practices, we go hard as fuck. And I, I explained it to someone because because uh, Toby was like, "Man, you guys practice and like play so fucking hard, like for like such a for a band, like people, like I'm the only one that ha- that hasn't been in a band, but I always describe it like this. I was like, with stand up, you have to do like sets every night mm-hmm. to try to like so our minds just constantly think yeah. that way. And you know, three of us in the band are comics and then one ex comedian, you know, so mm-hmm. so like we just have this mentality of like, yeah, we yeah, you practice and you yeah, you just you write a lot, you do yeah. all, all you know, all these things that you can. And meanwhile we didn't like it didn't hit me until Toby like had asked me like like how did that come about? And I was like, Oh wow, yeah. I was like, it's cause of stand up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like think about how like you know, you're doing like, you know, four, five, know. six, you know. Well, it's funny. You talk to these guys in bands and they're like, you're crazy. I, the, the, oh, Justin said the, that to me about, he yo. said, he said he went on the, uh, uh, when he was in New York, he yeah. went on your like, uh, run yeah, he with went you. on like a route with yeah, you. Yeah. He went on a route with yeah. you. And he goes, yo, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It was so fun taking him and, uh, Zach out. Zach comes out with me a lot just to hang. He lives and, in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we, I, I bring him to the cellar. I bring him here. I bring him there. And uh, it's so fun, man. But having Justice out and being like, dude, this is nuts. You know, like bopping around to one spot, walking to another. I'm hopping on my bike. I I, like take them downstairs to see Jordan at the cellar. And then halfway through, I'm like, yo, I got to run to another set. And they're like, now? Yeah. "Yeah." They're like, but, but I'm like, you stay. I'll be back. And then I leave. I come back and uh, they're like, this is crazy. I'm like, this is crazy. You guys are on tour for three months at a time. Different cities every night. You guys are crazy. Yeah. And we thing. and we don't tour like that for like a while. Yeah. Our tours are like yeah. uh, every weekend yeah, or whatever. Exactly. But I mean I, I did this two week run and that's I've been hitting That's the it most heavy. you've like done. Yeah, and and it's you know, an hour every night when I'm doing a weekend, two hours, you know, and, and dude, by Sunday by Saturday of this past weekend, I had done like eight hours each night, you know, in, in a row or or whatever, something like that. And I was cooked, yeah. but yeah, dude, I was stammering my words. I like dude, tried you feel to like get through you something, got brain and I fog go out of nowhere. All right, but you guys kind of get that idea anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. Well, it's a good thing you're straight edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I kind of am. Yeah, yeah. But I rip cigarettes all yeah. the time. Yeah, me too. I'm but always in. it's so funny that like Did somebody say chain smokers. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. There it is. There it is. You know, I was driving the other day, and I was like, what if I imagine dragons? Anyway. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. Go ahead, Joel. I was driving past. Uh, I was on mushrooms one day in the forest, and I was like, look at these neon trees. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Underrated yes. band, by the way. Don't, don't know much about them. I don't really know much about them. Yeah, it started either. with a whisper. Oh. And and a yes. Whisper. That's a game that pl- that gets picked up by like EA Sports or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then you end up like playing the game, falling asleep, and it just repeats on the menu. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, no, I don't want to whisper, never, no. <laughs> and also, I think this was a killer song. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh. Well, yeah. let's fucking get into it. Let's man. go. Let's get into Ian Finance's fucking list. I'm excited for the list. This yeah, cause me too. Al- although I know like. The, the you know it's, there's the hardcore but I was like you have such a wide range mm-hmm. that I'm like I, I you know I know this stuff but yeah. I was like I bet there's so much more yeah. that I do not know so well it's fun because this stuff changes for me all the time yeah exactly like, I get in a, a mode of like like my mode now is suburban scum I'm listening to them all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You know those guys? Mm-hmm. Ultimate Annihilation. No. Woo, everyone's a fucking victim. <laughs> <laughs> there's a dude, there's a video of them at this is hardcore this year. And when that hits, everything is so insane. And people on stage are just grabbing other guys and like suplex. <laughs> Damn. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. all right. Let's do it. First album you ever bought. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I forgot to add the third, but one of them was a gift and it was Leonard Skinner's greatest hits. Okay. That was a CD. Well, if we're talking album, it was, uh, Lois and Bram skimming a rinky dinky dink. That okay. tape. Yeah. 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 Played nonstop. Yeah. When I was a rinky dink. Dinky dink. Skim a rinky do. Are you serious? I love you. How you know that? I love you in the morning <laughs> and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening. 
<laughs> Underneath the moon. Yeah. <laughs> that was my jam. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. oh that oh, was yeah. the shit. Dude, when I was like four, that was just, <laughs> I was going nuts Who for that Who the fuck tape. are these guys? Yeah. Dude, my first tapes were Lois and Bram, uh, Vanilla Ice, MC Hammer, yeah. um, oh, damn. Aerosmith. I was only allowed to listen to rap for one hour a day because I'd put on MC Hammer and I would run up and down my stairs screaming. You yeah. can't touch this. Can't touch this. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. And like the Adams Family song, yeah. Vanilla they have Ice. A song? Go Ninja, go Ninja. Yeah. Oh, Ninja, Ninja. Yeah. 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 Wait, Adams Family has a. Yeah. yeah. Adam, uh, uh, MC oh, yeah, Hammer Adam's did the soundtrack. Did yeah. It, did it, oh, that? I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Wait, so the movie with like. Bro, pop that up. I had a Vanilla Ice doll. Whoa! Yeah, the like yes. Barbie doll. It came yep. with the tape that had Ice Ice Baby yes. on it. Yeah. Yep. Wait, who are you guys? What? Uh, I'm Joel. I, oh. Hey, I'm Ian. Yeah. Oh, and Chris Cross make you. Yeah, yeah. Cross. yeah. yeah we've Mac talked Dad about that, you... man. Wait, is the theme no, song? No, no, no. Adam's Family. Um, MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Dude, MC Hammer. Hammer don't hurt him. <laughs> Tell me, have you seen her? Adam's Groove. Yep. There Adam's it is. Family Groove. Pop that up. Oh shit! What? Wait, Ian, how old are you again? 39. How old are you? I'm 37. We're two years ago. 37, yeah. yeah. How old are you? 37. Yeah. Dude. Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this is Asian? Oh, just just wait. Just kidding, just kidding. I know what's a joke. (laughs) I'm laughing. (laughs) Chappelle. (laughs) Yo, that sounds like Chappelle. (laughs) What they want to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember. <laughs> I've never heard this in my life. And the whole world loves you, and you don't get that. This was my ethos. This was your shit. This is. A, I do what I want to do. Say what I want to say. Live how I want to live. The finance family. I've never heard this in my fucking life. Even though I, I know the movie. I, God. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys like rims and stuff, but that is a big ass wheel that he's I on. just want to run up and down the stairs so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my legs. They're imagine, imagine little Ian just running, wrecking a muck in his house. <laughs> oh, my God. Run DMC playing uh, um, the Ghostbusters 2 soundtrack. I was I really into like movie no. rap. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what's interesting. That's kind of all you get when you're a kid. Yeah. In a that's, way, but that's know? cool that they would do that for a lot of these like movies. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, we'll get MC Hammer, we'll get Run DMC. Yeah, we'll we'll incorporate. We'll that. get Will yeah. Smith. We'll get Wild Will, oh, yeah. Wild West. Yeah. Men Early in black. '90s, everything was rap. There were like <laughs> yeah. rap cartoons, rap snacks. Yeah, uh-huh. everything that you were learning in I school forgot about was like rap a rap. Snacks. Yep, they're back. Mm-hmm. Are they really? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Wow. I think so. The chips, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it was wholesome rap. It was wholesome. Yeah. This is wholesome. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the dangly dangly in the back of my throat. All body, the, cur- body, all the curse and yeah. Wasn't WAP? No. Yeah. Wet ass. No, WAP is a Wet song about vagina. slutty Italians. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <this> is WAP. <laughs> <laughs> so that so, but the first al- these were like my first. Those tapes. are your first okay. first tapes, but then my first CDs. I got a CD player. I think in like third grade. Uh, I was like, because uh, I was switching schools. Okay, and I was like leaving all my friends, and I was yep, sad. You needed, so you my mom got me like to. a CD player. Yeah, and I got um. Uh, she gave me uh, Leonard Skinner's Greatest Hits, uh-huh. Ace of Bass, Weird Ooh, Al hell Yankovic. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, I, she took me to the CD store for me to get mine, and I got Metallica Ride the Lightning. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. In third grade? Uh-huh. That's wow, intense. Man. Third going into fourth. Yeah. Third going into fourth. Yeah. You needed that. And uh, there's a picture somewhere. I also got rollerblades. And there was uh that was for my grandparents. And um there's a picture of me in my underwear on my rollerblades, and I have a huge weld on my head because some girl smashed my head into a chalkboard ledge. Fuck. Like, yeah, like she like tripped and fell and like I I like smashed my head. So I'm like holding a Metallica CD, holding yeah. Leonard Skinner in my underwear on rollerblades. Wow. I look like an alien. In your <laughs> underwear. Just grotesquely ugly. I hadn't had braces yet, buck teeth like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Emaciated skinny, no doubt. And, just, oh, <laughs> and then just this fucking ripping oh, yeah. it. Dude, I'll never forget being in my bedroom playing this album, and I freak my friend out 
because we put on uh, Fight Fire with Fire. Fight Fire and I was with like, Fire, yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if in a music video, when this is playing, the singer is saying the words and he's falling into a pit of fire in hell? And my friend was like, Listen, ma'am, we're on the same baseball team. Like, I don't really know you like that. You know? <laughs> you're like, Oh, you don't want to be friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. You're not living in a hell of your own making in your mind. Exactly. <laughs> Great. The fucking, uh, the song I really like off of that is, um, um, Call it Cthulhu? No. Um, the Bell Toll? For Whom the, the Bell, bell tolls. tolls. For Whom the Bell That's Tolls. That's on, I believe. Oh, it's not is, on this? Is that on this? For or whom is it the on, Chappelle um, Tolls. Or is that on, uh, that was Kill Them All? Or, no, no it's it's on, on this. I think that's on And Justice for All. Or no, I may this. be wrong. It's I think this. it's on this. Okay. It's okay. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're right. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Uh, they played live in Moscow for like 600,000 yes. people. Yes. How when crazy is and that? Justice for All came out, and For Whom the Bell Tolls is like the song. Yep. So I associate wow. it with that. Dude. Um, oh my God. Get ready. Woo! <laughs> Just a little Ian on rollerblades. Yeah. <laughs> Just like it works. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's hard, dude. I'll tell you, dude. I am a diehard Metallica fan, and I will stand on business that Saint Anger is a good album. Okay, is that the one that people don't fuck that's with? That's the one that people hate. The snare sound. The snare sounds like the snare sounds like a trash can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> dude, my lifestyle determines my death style. Fuck you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's the best! And push it out! And and push it, it out! Yeah! Ying <laughs> anger! I, I know he didn't play on the record, but when Trujillo Ooh. joined the band, oh, I was like, fucking. Suicidal in, tendencies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes there's the that best. moment in. Cliff uh, Burton's birthday was yesterday. Oh, oh, by the way, there's this cool T-shirt I saw. It's a shirt with Cliff Burton on it with a Misfits T-shirt on, yep, a leather shirt. jacket. Yes. Such a cool fucking yep. shirt. And it's so dope that that's how I got into the Misfits from Metallica. Wow, cool. Because they used from to they, cover. They would cover. covers. Yeah, and yeah. they would rep it hard. They would always yeah. cover the Misfits. Yeah, dude. Burton had a, um, a Misfit skull, Crimson Ghost tattoo. Yeah, what the they fuck They always wore they... the shirts. By the way, Henry Rollins' birthday is today. It's today. He, had, he has like five Misfits tattoos. Yeah. Wow. I got yeah. one. Yeah. I, I gotta get one, you but uh, uh uh oh yeah. I got one thirty eight on my ankle. Oh that's cool. Hard. But yeah, I got one thirty eight. My my um area code one's above, one's below a bicycle. Yeah. Uh, in in a uh, some kind of monster when they like basically offer Robert Trujillo like a million dollars. That like always gets. Oh me. Yeah, yeah. You can't the find contract. the clip on YouTube and either. They're, but. And and they're like, you're in the band. You're getting a cut. I was like, oh, yeah. This is nice. It made me feel they so made, good. They made him a full time member, right? Yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. which Shout a lot of bands Venice. don't do that. Like it, a lot of times, like, like I think with bands, like bigger bands like that, yeah. they don't make like if so, yeah, if someone. What's it called when we uh, independent contractor? Basically, you're getting paid yes. for like yeah, like your, you get like a duty. salary. Yeah, is what what they mm-hmm. what it's, ooh essentially what they do. Yeah, yeah, my guys. <laughs> wow, there it is. There it you is. Thought he was fucking around. Yeah, you uh-huh. thought he was lying. You Don't worry, I trade you a, I've got a shirt for every band yeah. mentioned on here. I'll be doing an outfit change. Do you want to trade a Mad Peaceful shirt for that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do it. All right, cool. I'm so bummed, dude. I got an old Trapped Under Ice toy shirt and a Trapped Under Ice uh, Buffalo Bills style Reaper Records shirt, and I lost them. I don't know where. Ugh. I lost them, and I'm so sad about Justice, it. Justice, remake those. I know. That's uh, what I'm saying. Okay, so... Yeah, where do we go with this one? I can't believe the in anthem- third grade you were listening to Metallica. That's mm-hmm. such an intense. Yeah, yeah. Like fire yeah, was, was cool. fireman. How fast he was! That, he it was is. that wild white boy when he was. Young. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And and also I I then that got me friends with the kid on my baseball team that was into metal and stuff. He was an older kid, and we used to go down the street to his house, and he came from like a religious family, and he would get all these tapes. He'd steal them. And we'd listen to the tapes on like one volume on his wow. stereo. And he got me into like Sepultura and, yeah. and um, Obituary. Oh, damn. And we went to the first concert I went to was a Metallica concert with him. And my mom took us. But um, yeah, we and then he'd come over on Friday nights before baseball practice. Mm-hmm. And we watch ECW wrestling. There you and go. And afterwards on cable access was the Tink's vid dream. And the Tink was this crazy dude from Delaware that would just play metal videos. 
And uh, that's how. Also, I subscribed to Hit Parader and like Circus. Hey, yeah. he, God, so that was weird. Back, in the, yeah. back in the day. So it was like it was weird, man. My my progression went like Misfits, uh, or or no, Metallica, yeah. Misfits, Danzig, um, like Obituary, Cannibal Corpse, yeah. Corn, mm. White Zombie, and then I had a um a cousin who I used to try to do drugs with and he never let me. And I was in sixth grade, seventh grade. It's a Dewey Cox and, uh, story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, don't want, you don't want none of this <laughs> shit, man. You know? And I thought he was so cool. He had his girlfriend's underwear hanging in his wall in his yeah. bedroom. And like, like all the cool yeah, guys. Yeah, and yeah, he like, yeah. loved Wu-Tang Clan. So I went, so my mom used to drop me off at this record store and I would just like listen to music, you know? And there was a store down the street called Burt CDs and Tapes. And I go and listen to music with him. Just like this little kid with like braces. Like, yeah. you have Cannibal Corpse? Yeah. And uh, I uh, went to go get Wu-Tang Clan. I listened to it in the thing. And I was like, I'd like to buy this. And one of the older like teenage workers there was like, no, 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 no. I see what you listen to. I'm not letting you get this. You're getting this. And she gave me victory style. With uh, which was the old Victory Records compilation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and I took that home, and that's what changed my life wow. with like all those hardcore bands and everything. Well, tell that person I'm mad that they deprived you of Wu Tang Clan, but oh no, uh, I got it for Christmas. Oh, and I okay, liked okay, it. okay, okay. Yes, yeah. I was yes. like, damn. That's one thing though, man. My mom like picked up on the fact that I loved music, and she was so kind to like foster that like yeah, she used yeah. to bring me up to philly and like drop me off at shows mine too yeah i was like 13 i got yanked out of a lesson jake show smoking a cigarette my mom came in shouts out lesson jake found yes found me and my two friends smoking cigarettes and she yanked us out by the ear and lesson jake like cheered her on oh wow. it was amazing yeah <laughs> wow yeah yeah. Shouts out to mom. One time Aww. I went to Warp Tour with a it was a truck full of kids. We were jamming that like was the best. Yeah, we were playing like Global yeah. Thread. I was like being an idiot and like yeah, Global chugging, Thread. Yeah. Oh gee. Ch chugging like a forty of Mickey's like out in the open. And we pull up to the thing and I was like, Hey, where do we park? Blah blah. blah. And they were undercover cops and they go, uh, Oh, you're gonna want to pull over here and don't try to hide the beer. We already saw it. And they came. They searched the truck. They they took us in. They called my mom. They go, "Do you want to come pick him up, or do you want us to let him into the show?" And she goes, "Let him into the show." Hard. So I got to go into Warp Tour, and it was yeah. yeah. That's the best. Yeah, it was awesome. That's dude. a cool. My mom. parents didn't care about me. Which which set of parents? <clears throat> All of them. <laughs> hey, no, I know. <laughs> my favorite quote: Claudia Black, the founder of Adult Children of Alcoholics Anonymous, <laughs> and uh, Adult Children of ACOA, Adult Children of Alcoholics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the quote is, it's never too late to have a happy childhood. That's what I, yeah, I tell myself that every perception day. And, Why do you think I'm so happy now? I mean, I don't enjoy yeah. fun things, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Why are you yeah. looking at me like that? You don't think I'm happy? I you don't, question my happiness? I, no, I don't question your happiness. Where's my camera? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy, goddammit. I'm happy. I'm I just happy. hate bowling. Never mind. I, I hate I, bowling. Uh, yeah. I hate what? Yeah, fuck bowling. No. Yeah, he doesn't like fun Why? things. He hates birthday parties. Uh, but I'm starting to kind of feel that way, I think. Wait, why do you hate bowling? Because that shit's annoying. I got to fucking throw this stupid heavy ass ball for an hour with friends. And he also you thinks just said it with friends. <laughs> yeah. He also with thinks bowling friends. alleys are like raves, like the music yeah. they play, the light. Some man. of them. Yeah. Some of them. And then when you hit, then when you hit that strike, that fuck, what the screen does. Oh yeah, You're like what? But what about what your heart does? Oh, when come you on, yeah. see, yeah. you know what? You this is not team up. It's the Chappelle. best. It's the best. Yeah, where are your checkered vans, Chappelle? Yeah, high oh, five the vans. Wow. High five the vans. <laughs> I fucked it up here one more. Yes. All right, cool. I just want to touch you. Are feet. you guys? I met him first. So what? <laughs> I met him last. <laughs> I'm gatekeeping my friend. <laughs> 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 Anyways, what was the anthem of your youth? <laughs> um, in high school, it was Squad Five O, Fight the System. Mm. Huh. Do you know them? No, I'm so new to the hardcore world. No, I was this more is like, like a ska band. Oh, okay, oh. dude, listen to this. I was big into Oi too. Oi, Oi. This is hard. Wait yeah, till I the ska it. part kicks in. The East Coast. Oi, Oi. No, they were a Christian ska band. Right like you. Ooh, hey. Hey, hey. We got that. Dude, this is hard. The drumming's right? dope. Yeah. yeah. They were a Christian ska band. 
and I used to go to Cornerstone Fest. Oh, yeah. Yes. I, used to, I yeah. used to be in a Christian hardcore and like Christian punk. Yeah, yeah. like Under Oath yeah. would play there. Then we were proud of like, I got I got in trouble for washing to the POD. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and you, Zayo, Living Sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, POD. Blindside. You ever yeah, get into Blindside? Blindside, yes. Um, Dogwood, uh, do you remember the OC Supertones? They yes. were a Christian ska band. Uh, yes. Yep. Everybody. Mm. 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 Five Iron Frenzy. <laughs> I brought in Wait, every. Wait, Five new, Iron Frizzy was Christian band. I brought in every new day to play in my freshman year, like living scriptures class as like a prayer. I did not know they wow. were. I didn't know they were Christian. Uh, oh Christian yeah, band. and then later my my um, uh, anthem turned into a father's marathon by Etown Concrete. Even though Ooh. it was about his father leaving him, yeah. any song that gravitated towards like a dad not being yeah. there, that was like my thing. Because how, how old were you? When my dad died? Yeah. Eight. Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were super, super young. Damn. Yeah. Damn, so that, that song fucking hits. Yeah. Oh, Damn. yeah. Yeah. And this shit, this is fucking right? tight. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Yeah. I didn't know about this. Yeah, dude. Squad I did not know about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it... it I feel so youthful when I hear it too. Yeah, sure. I feel like I'm like, oh, let me let me go back uh -huh. to 2001. I don't get how you could be ever mad listening to Scott. That's like, what I'm saying, dude. Seems so fun. I tried to do a bit about how like, how do you tell a child their parent has died? You play ska <laughs> to soften the blow. Like, yeah. yo, kick up um, sellout by Real Big Fish, dude. So <laughs> oh, I saw, dude, get that's the one of, shit, one, of dude. one of my favorite concerts was Real Big Fish and Le Less Than Jake co-headlining tour in Hell 2014 yeah. or 15 yeah. or whatever and i was just like this is like the happiest day of my life uh-huh it's yeah. it was just fucking great i, d I defy at home i defy you to listen to ska not smile yeah i remember i saw big d in the kids table at yes. work tour that was so fun oh, oh you did mad caddies mad caddies the whiskey. My, first was my first concert was mad caddies oh, yeah. Why don't you sit down? Dun, 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 dun. We let found him, out that the ahead, cancer is spread to your father's brain. Yeah. He's not going to make it. Why don't you just start skanking? Yeah, why well, don't you start skanking? Paper too start moving nice. like this. She said, but it's, it's too late. late. It's too late for the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> the chemo's not going to work. <laughs> you have about three weeks left yeah. to live. Yeah. Get doesn't your affairs matter. in order. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter anymore. What am and I then but here's when what he do. dies, you can put on Everything Sucks yeah. by Real Big Fish. <laughs> and a way, in a way to cope, you can put on beer. Beer. Yeah. 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 Great song. Uh, Sell out. Oh. With me. Oh, yeah. Sell I always love those oh. snare sounds too uh, on all the records. Like, Ska had such good snare. Good Hell snare. Yeah. Great yeah. snare. Uh, uh, Ska has great snares. I mean, you can dude. hear the plastic on the fucking the head. You hear yeah. like, what what song do you come out to? Because I used to come out to this, and it uh, changes. Mine usually like switches up a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, I come out to the um, 50, 50 seconds in the holiday. I'll come out to um, nice. Yeah. I used to come out to uh, no. I would come out to um, turnstile holiday because I know there's yeah yeah. I I would. Close the show out with mystery. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw that when I opened for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, now? at um, Hollywood Improv. You were so sweet the way you asked me to open for you. Like, hey, I know this is like beneath you, uh, but you know, I, I would love for you to be, you know, open for me. On, I was like, of course. Yeah, dude, it was so Why cool having you there, yeah. man. That's, that was like that's the always coolest. dope. It's like those, it's like when ba what bands do, like yeah. the way they were like open for each other, but also like. One would like headline, hey, we're yeah. headlining the show, but we want you guys, you know, it's 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 cool like that. I yeah. love that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, sometimes I'll walk out to Soundtrack to My Life, Kid Cudi. Nice. That's another one I walk out to. I walk out um, to sometimes uh, King Nine, Art of War. You know them? They're a New York hardcore band. They're yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. King Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 OGs. Uh-huh. Yes, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll walk out to Art of War by them. Uh, recently, I've been doing... Um, Damn, you walk uh, out to hard shit. Yeah. I can't walk out to hard shit because it... Like Sets I'll be in, a, I'll be in a different mood. Yeah. Well, it's like so, it's a fun juxtaposition because I'm so smiley and like silly to yeah. come out to like yeah. this hard shit. But lately, I've been coming out to um, saves the day. Um, Ooh, yeah. uh, which, which one now? Uh, uh, um, oh my god, you um, vandal? No, um, I, I always forget I the the, the song. Cool. My God, it's one of my favorites. Uh, wait, which record? I, oh, uh, through being cool. Through being cool. Um, oh, I was also coming out to Red Hot Chili Peppers, Good Time Boys. 
I don't okay. even know that one. Yeah. Dude, Mother's Milk, amazing album. It's like punk rock. They have some ska on there. Cool. Uh-huh. Subway to Venus, amazing, amazing I album. I record. come out to uh, So What You Want by the Beastie Boys. Oh, that's Fuck a good it, that's one. That's a hard one. That's a good one. Down, 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 um, eight down, seconds down, in. Down, down, down. Dude, th- this is going to like bother my brain. Can you go up and look up the track listing to Saves the Day? I don't know why. No, I can't they remember this. We know Because we know so much music. That's I know. why. I that's know. why that happens to us. Um, through being it's cool. on the through, through being cool record. Uh, Whoa, hey, hey, what can oh, um, I do? Yeah, uh, uh, shoulder, shoulder to the wheel. Oh, shoulder to the wheel. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Let's hear it. Ian, fight ants. Oh, that's, that's hard. great. Wow. Did American Pie just come out? You yeah, know? right? Yes. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I mean, I look like Jason Biggs, so it works. <laughs> you know? It is funny, though, when you're like, can you play this song off this record at 38 seconds? Yeah. And, and the sound guy's like, I, uh, I'm i going to mess this up. You know what's up, funny? Man. At first, I thought they were a Christian band, and then I listened to their lyrics, and I was like, they are not a Christian band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then yeah. I started reading the lyrics of something like At Your Funeral and oh, yeah. stuff like that. I was and, like, oh, um, this is not a Christian band. Uh, man, they got Take This Awkward Saw. And uh, da, 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 da. Dude, they, they have one song on uh, Sell All My Clothes, I'm Off to Heaven. It's like, I know you like blue eyes, but I'll take a knife to mine. It's like, yeah. dude, you don't have to yeah, do he's that. Got, he's got some There's other lyrics. people. <laughs> you know? Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's great. Uh, okay, next question. Uh, your favorite song to play in the car? Man, what my classic car song has always been Third Eye Blind, Losing a Whole Year. Mm, that uh, is a perfect windows down, sunroof open. Just, and let's go. Oh, my God. Who's that? Julia Stiles? Chappelle's Dream Woman. No. God. Why you guys think I like white women? Uh, there's just something about you. Ugh. Cause you like Oasis. <laughs> yeah. Your of Magnesia. No, Here it Magnesia. comes. I remember you and me. And I like this video. Day. Uh. What are they behind? What is that? Bleachers. It's like bleachers, yeah. Ooh, what record is this? Uh, self-titled. Self-titled. Uh, one of the greatest. Records of all time. Boy, sounding money in your face is cute. Dude, I'll another, tell you. Another band that's that's good at writing such poppy songs with dark lyrics. Bro, they have a song called Non Dairy Creamer. Uh-huh. And the chorus is like, Young, gay, Republican. It's just <laughs> over Fuck and yeah. over. It's wild. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wild. They're they're one of my all time favorites, man. They're oh, so really? Good. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I love them. It puts me back in such a place of like, you know exactly where you were at. 98, yes. Can't Hardly Wait movie. Uh, uh, going to Six Flags with friends. Hell yeah. Just like, you know, I getting how, dropped off at the theater. I love how good that stuff makes you feel when you mm-hmm. like listen to Like it's like you, you forever have these like memories because of music. Yeah. That's how but, I feel with a lot of totally, stuff Totally, without to. a doubt. And mm-hmm. also the ephemeral like Sorry. grabbing of the CD, yeah. putting it in the car. Uh, like kids these days don't have it. Don't have you it. You know? No. And... There was a limited amount of music. It, it was almost like, you know, when you play a video game and, and you're in a limited map and then you enter a new map and it opens up a new thing. Yes. That's how music was for me. I like knew this little thing. Something would open up and then I would get a whole new map that I could explore. And now I feel like it's you're just dropped off in a game and the entire map is available to you because yeah. muse, you have access to everything. And it's like. Oh, do Everything. you like RJ97? Yeah, that's a SoundCloud rapper that blah, blah. And it's like, no. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. sucks. Every piece of music nowadays sounds like a girl whispering while she's on her period making soup. It just sucks. <laughs> or it's like two robots in going t- through a breakup. In tiny apartment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, robots it's going like, through with, a You know, my favorite thing about shit back in the day with music, especially with CDs and you know why that was like so important to me was the thank yous. The yeah. thank yous. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. how you got into so, new bands. That's how you uh-huh. got into new bands. Yes, and sometimes you would find a band in those thank yous that wasn't necessarily the genre, but they had fucked with each other because they somewhat like 
you know, like some of the guys in, in the band Filter were in a hardcore band with Derek Green from Sepultura. Oh, I didn't know. No that. way. Yeah. Wow. So like, and you know what Filter sounds like, yeah. obviously, but if, you know, but and then you obviously know what Derek and Se- Sepultura sounds like. So it's Ugh. like it's this cool thing where you like those were so important, and then like. If they're thanking a band, that band has like so much substance mm-hmm. and so much importance to them. That's like, well, I like, you know, this band so much. I need to know why they like this band. Yeah. And then you listen to it. And I'm like, oh, I could get why they fucking or dig you're this. like Snapcase. Yeah, well, that's a cool name. That's Let's a check cool name. Yes, you know, dude, I bought a GBH. Uh, I bought a GBH album because of the cover. Whoa. I was like, I don't know what this is, but I was like, that looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. bought the bought the album. That was I, like a movie, a blockbuster. You're like, yeah. I don't know what this is about, but it yeah. looks neat. I tell this story all the time, but I was uh, my hey. first concert was The Offspring, and they had Whoa. them turn the house lights on, and I looked around the stadium, and I saw Dead Kennedys logos everywhere. I didn't know what it was, but people were wearing the shirt, and I was like, what the fuck is that? And I oh. bought the shirt before I had even heard the yeah. band. I just thought, and then you hear the band, and you're like, damn. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Yeah. I love shit. Uh huh. Yeah, it's the I, best, dude. Bro, I'm loving a, this conversation. I'm so glad we've had you, dude. That's you how are. I got into my ska band that changed my life. Yeah, freshman year of high school. Yeah, he had a really cool ska. I band. was, yeah. uh, I was like guitar, right? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, freshman year of high school, new high uh, high school. I, I, I wore an Operation Ivy shirt and I was like, I hope I make yep. a friend today. Hell yeah! And this kid. Uh, Came up to me, he's like, you like Operation Ivy? I was like, yeah, and he, and he had a Lesson Jake pin. I go, I love Lesson Jake. I just taught myself how to play Johnny Quest Things for Sellouts on the guitar. He oh. goes, you play guitar? I go, yeah, and he goes, do you want to join a band? And I was like, oh, my God. That's and, so cool. And, dude, my mom picks me up. She's like, how was your first day of school? I was like, I'm in a ska band. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> it was the best, dude. It changed dude, my need, life. We need that Lifetime movie to happen ASAP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. and he was an older kid, and he would make me – Tapes and that's yeah. how I would like get it. So like hanging out with the older kids, like I remember, dude, I was such a poser. They picked me up to take me to Philly to go see Pie Tasters, Pilfers, Catch Twenty Two, and Damn, uh, quite, Catch Twenty Two. They heard. were outside my house honking the horn for me because I was still um, safety pinning patches on my Jinko yeah. cargo shorts. <laughs> They were there to pick you up, oh, pick yeah, you up, dude. pick you up. Oh, oh yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. That was nice. Give it, give it up nice. for Joel Jimenez. He'll be yeah. here all night. That's the last yeah. one. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, that. that's how I started playing guitar and stuff like that. So my junior high offered guitar classes, uh-huh. and there was this kid in there. Um, that, shout out. She's still my homie today. Dom, his name's Dom D'Amato. Shouts out, Dom. Uh, he was like, hey, man, do you want to be in a, you want to be in a band with me? Or whatever, and I, and I, you know, at the time I was listening to like a lot of like new metal around this time when he yes. had asked me, and uh, he he was like, uh, "We're gonna play ska," and I was like, "What the fuck is ska?" You know, and then uh, he showed me like Less Than Jake, Mad Caddies, took me to a Mad Caddies concert, and yes. I was fucking sold. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that was and what it meant, and like we went we went and saw Mad Caddies in this like tiny room, and it was just packed full of people, and I was just like. Oh, like concerts aren't just like, yeah. Because all I thought of concerts was because mm-hmm. I was listening to like new metal, and it's like big you know, ass playing, concerts. You didn't know you could be at the stages. stage. Yeah. And I was like, dude, we're right here next to the band. Like my homie, I remember my homie Alfredo. Uh, his his name's Alfredo Coon, by the way. It was just funny. Why, why, is, that, <laughs> why is that funny? <laughs> See, he gets it. I thought he his gets first it. name was Fettuccine. <laughs> so my homie Alfredo Coon, like we're we're sitting here skanking or whatever, and like. Home, uh, the Trump, the uh, is it trombone? Is that yeah. the one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the trombone player. He was playing and accidentally hit my homie in the and cut his head. But it was oh, like dude. we thought it was like the coolest thing. Hell yeah, yeah. we were like yeah, yeah, cause we're right here with the band yep. and, it, and it was just cool dude. watching the the trombone player like say sorry and shake his hand right there. Damn. But that interaction of like being that close to a band mm-hmm. and watching and like all these people vibing out, yep. I was just like. This is my life. Yeah. This is yeah. going this is going yeah. to be my life. Oh dude, showing up to school the next day with like a black eye or yep. something because yeah. you caught one in the pit. Exactly. That was like God. Yeah. Man. Ugh. Like be everyone talking dude, I, I was like a wild kid and I, I still am. I like love danger and every, that's why I think I gravitate danger towards hardcore zone. because you're you're in an environment and you're like, dude, I don't know if I'm gonna get out of here. Yep. Yeah. You like, even when okay. you even when you walk it like you walk into a hardcore show, you feel the intensity. Yeah. You feel like like it was kind of crazy because my first time seeing Madball was 
uh, what, what, what did he tell me? Like twenty twenty or something like that. Yeah. It was my first time I got to see him or whatever. And I walk in, you just feel it. Mm-hmm. You just knew what was up. But it was like, but it was like, yes, that intensity's there. But like, everyone's cool. No one, no one, you know, yeah, everyone's yeah, being cool. Yeah. We're we, we're about to fuck each other up. Yeah, and we're about to have a good time doing yeah. it. That's like dope to me. Yeah, I just love that feeling. And and getting in there and being like, like I, I'll never forget my first like dance move i did in a pit at our yeah. yeah and i got out i only did it for a second and i got out my friends like oh my god oh my god <laughs> and i was like the first one to stage dive like to to crowd surf and stage dive and like that was like the coolest fucking thing yeah. yes and just like i i was like a nutball and i just let it was oh. a way it's such a good way to like just get shit out and you know like let did let you skateboard lose. too i was so bad i couldn't even okay ollie. okay i oh, wanted but to you so rollerbladed bad. I couldn't even do anything on that. I, <laughs> I fell and hit my head, and I. Because I always did felt like the skateboarding and stage diving and all that shit, like the was, extreme, uh, yeah, extreme, was a thing, yeah. you know. Extremity. Did extreme? I say that right? No. Is extremity not a word? Extremities are like extremities, your, legs, your, your arm arms. or whatever. The extremeness. The extreme. <laughs> this is your podcast. <laughs> What's up, we're extremeness? <laughs> Sit your ass down. All uh, right. Yeah. No. I mean, dude, it's anymore. it's something I wish more people felt and also like i've taken people to hardcore shows that have never been and i i'm like dude go out there go out just yeah. try and to see them like joyful it's it's so cool but man i i, I remember i i when i started going to shows all, the older kids told me like dude when you go to philly don't look at anyone there's these gangs that'll uh, pick yeah, you yeah. out and beat the shit out of you and so i wore a cup to the first show I went Hell to because yeah. I was so afraid <laughs> yeah, yeah. that they were going to stomp me out, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like head down. And I think I told you this. My mom dropped me and my friend Andrew off at the Trocadero in Philly. Yeah, we're like yeah. 14. And we see kids we know in line. We get in and uh, my mom drops us off and then she pulls back around, rolls the window down and goes, hey, Ian, hey, Ian, here's a roll of quarters for you and Andrew in case you get hurt. And everyone's like, ah. Thank God I wore my cup. Oh <laughs> man. Um uh, one of the coolest things, and then I'll ask the next question, uh, was when I took my my nephew, he's uh he was sixteen at the time. I took him to see Turnstile, right? Yeah. And he's never been to like you know, which is a great I think a great entry oh, totally yeah. for the totally. world. Totally. But, life changing. But, he, but he but he but he loved you know, he likes turnstile and stuff and you know, I've been I've been introducing him to, to the to the culture and uh, I took him to see Turnstile, right? And like, you know, like the, uh, you've seen you, you've seen them quite a few yeah, times, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, how they always play the Whitney Houston song yes. beforehand. And so my nephew was like, he was like standing, you know, next to me or whatever. And then he took his hoodie off. He goes, "I'm gonna go out there." Yeah. And oh then, and then, hell and yeah, his, dude. His mom, his mom was because uh, his mom was with us too, and uh, she was like, she was like, "Bear, no." And I was like, I was like, no, 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 he needs this. Yeah. He needs this. Yeah. I was like, let him have this right now. I was like, he he needs it, dude. It's and he, it's like he the, goes in and just fucking. I I didn't see him for the whole show. I was like, he's gonna be fine. Fuck and yeah! It was so funny because this one dude was getting like pulled out, like walked out of the pit because he had like a, a bloody nose or whatever. And then she started freaking out. I was like, trust me, he's fine. Yeah, he knows where to find us. Yeah, I was like, let him have it. I had to like pull her back. Like, yeah, yeah. let him have this. Yeah, let him hold on to this. And then he was just, he was like, f- he had the time of his yeah. life. And I was like, that's what you need. That's baptized by best, fire. Dude. Yes. I was like, you that's needed that. The best. The I best wish feeling. I, 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 I mean, especially in comedy, man, I see so many people. I'm like, man, I'm so grateful. I had this thing uh, that you didn't have. Yep. You yeah. Know? And like, I was never like a sports guy or like music was like my thing. And I was always like the weird one for it, you know, especially like in college, I got away from like, going to shows and stuff because I, I was like bad at meeting people and like getting outside of like my already established friend group yeah and i found alcohol and i was like all right this is my new hardcore hey and uh, this up, is friend? my new thing i'm i'm into yeah. and uh i don't know it just I, it's such a cool like there there's nothing like beating the shit out of people and getting the shit kicked out of you and someone like picking you up and being like oh this is all fun and like we're enjoying yeah. it and it's not I mean there are some malicious people but yeah. I could never be that guy that would like yeah. pick people out or whatever but um I don't know it was just like ah controlled yeah. chaos yeah controlled chaos I love yeah. it man. And, right. and and for being oh, a kid that's sorry. like all fucked up with like you know you you get that thing out you know you get that thing out yeah 
and I'm talking. We're talking about wieners. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got that thing. Uh, my li- bad. I keep I keep distracting. No, no, bad, you're huh? good. No, we're, this is fun. Uh, you don't live here. Best live music you have seen. Um, I I think. I think it was like my first real concert, Metallica in '97. Oh, fuck uh, yeah! I mean, you saw just, Metallica in the '90s. Yeah, and great. my mom like, took that's me fucking... to the free concert in Philly on November 11th, 1997. They played a free concert in Veteran Stadium parking lot, and I saw my first set of boobs, and that was like the best, dude. You're like, I was on my mom's shoulders, <laughs> and I like saw, dude. I I had a Kodak Instamatic camera to like take a pic and and i i remember the picture coming out and it was a sea of people and those cameras don't zoom so i thought i was taking a picture of boobs and it was just a sea of people you can't even see the <laughs> boobs you take the see. magnifying glass here's out. Your, yeah, yeah. Here's your philly I'm on my mom's shoulder i'm like i'm feeling the except my boners oh, going into my mom's neck this is what you were at yeah band in philly yep. Fuck yeah fuck yeah 1997 Let's see little Ian on his mom's shoulders. I mean, bro, look at the crowd. We were so far away. How long of a set did they do? I I don't I don't mm-hmm. remember like absolute specifics. Yeah. I just remember I had never been that packed in with that amount of people before. Jason Newstead was a beast, by the way. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I just listened to this Drum History podcast. They broke down all of Lars's gear from like the beginning to now. Yeah. I think that Tama was like a custom color. They didn't make that color, but they did it for Lars. Yeah. Uh, Ian, 97? Yeah. You see this? Wow. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, Dude, I, it, it was just like... I feel like I'm there right now. Bro, it it was I mean look at all those people man, I just remember we were like, we had to look to the left to see the stage, uh. and I was on my mom's shoulders, and uh, it was I mean again man shout out to my mom for being cool enough to uh, like, that's know, awesome yeah bring me to this was your mom a Metallica fan no but she was oh, cool she just enough to, to yeah, like take, take she could handle being at Metallica with me. But she could not handle being at like T-U-I. hardcore shows with me, yeah. so she would just drop me off. Oh, and "See God" by T.U.I. is also a song I play in the car. Ooh, great! And song. also, for some reason, when I was driving from Sacramento to, uh, or no, San Francisco to San Diego, I played "E Town Concrete" every single album from <laughs> start to finish, dude, I, for like three hours. So this album, like for me. Oh, hey, I gotta give a shout out to to TUI because yes. I have their hoodie on and we're playing Sea God and I can't yes. just like not show it off. Oh my god. Where's the camera at? You're Yo, good, ready? you're good, you're good. You got it? Yep. Sing it. Oh da da Never bought my smile. Tell them that I'm still alive. Cause I couldn't provide. Man, let me tell you. This band for me. I don't even you, know how to explain. You and I, it. this is the number one. So right? I'm winded. Trapped Under Ice is it is is top three in my hardcore bands. Yeah, they're top three. They might even they're top two, bro. To be quite honest. Who are your top five? <sighs> we'll get there. Hold on. Yeah, 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 I'm brother. out of breath. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Joel, I, I, take I over. So, I guess I know right. Uh, talk, so, uh, talk about uh, drums yeah, again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, drums. So, <laughs> yeah, you hit them. Um. So I actually, so I, I actually didn't find out about TUI until I met Justice. Right. No shit. Yes. So, so the way I grew up. I was into Swedish hardcore before I was into American, <laughs> into American hardcore. So all I knew was Swedish what? hardcore. Yes. Refused all that stuff. One of my favorite bands has been called was DSRT. Was Donuts? Yeah, Swedish? Donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ikea? Yeah, donuts. Ikea. Fjord heard? <laughs> yeah. We've, we've made a mistake having Joel take over. Fjord? Fjord Focus? Fjord, Fjord, Fjord. Fjord Focus. <laughs> anyways... So I met Justice, and I thought he was so cool when I met him. I met him through Toby, right? Right, and I was like, "Man, this dude's dope as fuck." I was like, I, "I'm gonna check his shit out," and then uh, I check out um, 
I, I, I can't remember if I went Angel Dust first. No, I went I went uh, TUI first, right? And I and I went I went back backwards mm. with it. Or no 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 I I yeah. I went from like their latest album, like uh, to uh, from uh, Heat Wave, Heat, what, Heat Wave, right. and then I went, you know, went followed it mm-hmm. through that line, and I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" I was like, "This dude is fucking talented." Then I heard Angel Dust, and I was like, "He's even more talented mm-hmm. than I think the world even fucking knows." Mm-hmm. I was like, "He like you got he, into Cold Mega, yes, of yeah. course." So I'm sitting here like following this dude's like shit, and and I was like, "This is a band," you know, even though I was like, it brings out as an adult like i know what it would have done for me as a mm-hmm. youth but as an adult like it, it brings out these feelings that i'm like that you've been feeling for a while and it's hard to admit <laughs> yeah. well, gotta but you gotta it get it off your chest, chest. <laughs> you'd yeah, sleep forever and, if there was and, peace and death and it just like speaks to me on such yeah. a large level especially you know because i i struggle with anger even yeah. though even though i don't i don't uh i'm very good about like controlling it mm-hmm. but like the inner battles that i have to have with yeah. my anger it's like it's it's tough battles. It's mm-hmm. very very tough. So hearing like trapped under ice and like all these songs and these lyrics, like it's like it like I was like, oh, this is my blood. Yeah. This is this is what it's been for me the whole time. Yeah. And and, and they help like it helps me understand yep. those inner battles that I've always struggled with mm-hmm. when it comes to like controlling my anger. So I was like, oh, this yeah. is what this is what I this is what it, uh, has been uh that i've needed Mm -hmm. and and even though i didn't hear it early on when it was like originally out or something like that but where it's at for me right now is so it's 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 like it's fresh it's like it all just it's like this all just came out to me i love that you know what i mean so that that's what that's how important the best yeah that's how important that band is yeah they're like yeah they're like in my top five like bands of all time of course you know what i mean like they're up there like like my top five list obviously oasis is on there but like TUI is in that, yeah, for sure, one thousand percent. Well, dude, we're we're hanging out at the cellar, and the cellar has a uh, chalkboard tables, like these slate tables you can write slave on. tables. So, Sla- wow, slave you know tables. what, Ian? I thought. <laughs> no, no, it's well, well you're your giving people work, <laughs> and you know, so um, we write. We it's it's like me, Jordan, Justice, Zach, our friend Mary Jane. She's a great musician as well. Yeah, and we're writing our top five bands, and it took everything in me to not like. <laughs> include TUI. Oh, you you know? stay, you're sitting like, right there. Yeah, yeah. But dude, honestly, man, like the lyrics speaking to, you know, loneliness, being lost, anger. Yeah. Like the these things you're trying to that that are like pulling you down emotionally and physically with like going down these paths. Yeah. It's so relatable and that um TUI and E Town Concrete were like my like uh bands and and also blacklisted too Mm -hmm. and 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 each of them played different roles and parts of my life as i was like growing and and then the the like four bands that were always a through line were metallica nirvana bad for sure for sure and um yeah but there's something yeah for me like with tui that hits in a way that like Mm -hmm. like i like all these i like i like so many bands i like so many fucking bands yeah but the way it hits it's like you know it's almost like a so I've always felt like a lone wolf, not yeah. not, not, not like, a, you know, out of like sadness. You mm-hmm. know, I think I just I just I, I don't think I've ever like fully connected like uh, group wise or anything mm-hmm. like that. Like, I mean, you got to realize I was I was a competitive cheerleader. And then, you know, sometimes I did cheer practice to go to a hardcore show, yeah, or something, yeah, or, yeah. Or, you know, to, to, to these shows and yeah. shit like that. So yeah, I was in a ska you, band yeah. and I was hanging out and I was sucking dick behind a dumpster back in Wilmington, Delaware. It, it's, it, OK. Anyway, and so yeah. Uh, yeah, I can relate to feeling <laughs> anger on the yeah. inside and not That's feeling yeah. welcome but to the, being who you really are. <laughs> but, but no, that that internal the, thing, yeah, the internal internal thing, and like I'm like, oh, these are the lone wolf lyrics. Like this is, oh, this is telling my lone wolf story. Yeah, That's what and I feel, especially. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but I think you can. But being a outwardly black. fun time oh, no. guy or... black i'm black on the inside <laughs> um, i've always thought that about and, you. well i'm a smoker okay. and um <laughs> oh, hey, I, new parts right I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes Whoa. there it is there, there it, is. it is yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> um black and mild but no the the thing uh that's kind of like you guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah merch idea dude black and mild um just like having being the outwardly fun time smiley guy, I'm always positive. I'm always this, and then I felt because of the way I grew up, I couldn't 
express sadness or anger because I saw that all the adults of me around me would get sad. So I had to keep all this stuff inside and music, especially these lyrics were a way to like, that's me. Yeah. That's, yep. that's that, you yep. know, yeah. that's the beauty. That's the beauty of what that does. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say specifically punk and hardcore, uh, even though you might feel like a lone wolf, you go to these shows and you realize that you're not alone. In, oh, that's yeah. where I feel. Feelings. I feel, yeah, I feel molded. Yeah. At those shows for and, sure. And it's funny too, because man, so I know so many, like it, it, everyone like in my friend group in high school, before I found, um, Jesus. you know, outside people, the Lord and Savior, the one true <laughs> Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, quit fooling yourselves. Um, is like, uh, I don't know, so many people like love rap and pop. And it's like, I feel like that stuff, like this is like relatable. And I could never like uh, relate to rap. I mean, I could with like the Adams Family values yeah, and stuff. obviously. But oh, just yeah. like, no, the bravado. I was never a guy that like got bitches or like the, yeah, this and like, yeah. I, I could never fake the funk and all my friends, I, I hated that they would like listen to rap and like think they were like cool and stuff or like my wigger friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yeah. I like am a guy that just likes this. And even in that grouping, when I was coming up, the uniform was messenger bag brimmed hat like this or like a flat brim to the side rolled up Dickies, Ciccone's, and uh, I could never like, dr so I always even felt like an outcast at those shows because I would just wear like a button up with like a wife beater underneath and be like, doo, doo, doo. yeah, because I tried being punk rock guy and wearing like plaid pants. I tried hair, that too, yeah. Hair, and, and I'm like, this doesn't yeah, feel. It, did, it was so uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. I'm not Itchy. like a spiked bracelet guy yeah. for my whole life. I was like, I could like the casualties without dressing like them. A kid said that to me. He goes, you like like the, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you like like metal and stuff, but you like don't wear black. Why do you? Yeah. I just went to you. Yes, to I don't want to. I, don't, I, don't like, I don't know. I remember one time I was wearing, uh, I just had got done coaching cheer and I met up with my friend at this like restaurant bar that we like eat at. And, you know, he was, uh, he was saying something and, we were talking, we talking about like music. We were talking about punk and all this yeah. stuff. And this girl looks at me. She goes, "You're punk." She was like, "You're wearing basketball shorts." I go, "Yeah." The fuck? I was like, "But, but that's but, punk." But I was like, "Yeah." What the fuck does that have? Like, I always. Loved I was like, "You're gonna sit here and try to like make this definition right yeah. now." Yeah. I was like, "That's not punk." Yes. I was yes. like, "You're sitting here trying to define something. Yes. That's not what it is." That's what I yeah. loved in SLC Punk. Jason Siegel's Let's character. Let's bring it up. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. the most hardcore dude, and he was just like he a was nerd. insane. Yes, he was yeah. a nerd, and but he I was love like, that. He was a dude that was wrecking shop. I didn't get on with hard with heroin Bob or fucking yeah. Matthew. What's his Lillard. name? Lillard. Lillard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just felt like a faker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. God, that shit was like religion to me. That movie. I was oh my yeah. god! Uh, the punk rock yeah. Bible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Movie. Next question. Sorry. We, Wait. We, can I? Can I pee real quick? No. Absolutely. Nah, dude. Hold nah, it you in. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, all right, Sorry, God, it's guys. ours now. Yeah, it's our podcast. Yeah. That was black and mild. This is black and wild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. You also had had real big fish on there as one of your best shows ever. If you wanted, to. yes, uh, real big fish, Green Day at the Big Kahuna, Wilmington, Delaware, two thousand one, amazing. How I'll great? How forget. great are they fucking live? So, and, good. and that's the thing with Scott too is like, I think they are organically are just great performers. Dude, I'll I'll tell you. Honestly, I saw Lesson Jake like a year ago and, oh, and no. I had to leave. It was it was just robotic. No way. I mean, dude, they've been doing it for how many years? I and mean, and that's the thing. What, with, Pescor, Pescor that's, came out in that, what? That's like, the thing with, with 95 like, Pescor I, that like, came out? It, a lot of the music we like, it doesn't really evolve. I think that's why we're drawn to like, you know, um, Turnstile and TUI and Angel Dust. What's yeah. a common denominator? <laughs> and uh, because they evolve, the sound changes. The sound changes. Are different. But with ska and stuff, it's always like the same. Yeah. You know? And I, I think Less Than Jake was, they were just up there like, but it was cool. They were like, who's here for the first time? Yeah. Come up on stage. Let's show you how to dance. That was really cool. But the songs, it was just like, I can 
tell you guys are really i mean roger was going wild but everyone else yeah was roger just always like goes the wild. same yeah and that that was kind of a little disappointing really? but the suicide machines they go off they're they fu- go they've off. been around they forever fucking... jason you know yeah. um navarro is fucking amazing you know they're great but uh i don't know i don't know it was just I was, different I was, for you yeah i don't yeah, know if i don't know if i've had that yet yeah with a band that i like where i went and saw and i was just like oh, all right <laughs> i saw I, I saw hey breed again yeah. And I I dug that Jamie Joss is like one of the best front man. Yeah, I feel yeah. like they still go fucking yeah. hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. They yeah, for sure they go hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah I haven't had that experience yet. Ooh, I, I get it. I get it. But also, time. the last time I saw Lesson Jake was like 2008 or whatever. I think at the Trocadero in Philly before it shut down, and that I don't know. It just seemed like. <laughs> I, I don't know. It was just. Eh. I just realized Henry Rollins and my mom have the same birthday. Oh wow! It's my mom's birthday today. Wow! Wow! Yeah. And here I am with you. <laughs> I'm here without you, baby. But I'm so lonely. Uh, All right. Okay. You, okay. Ooh, this would be a fun one. Your go-to karaoke song. Where eagles dare by the misfits. Oh fuck or yeah! Hinder lips of an angel. Really. It's really nice to hear your voice, man. Hold me. Damn. Didn't we cover this? Yeah, we did. Maybe, yeah. We did. Actually, I don't know. Yeah. We walk the streets at night. We go where eagles dare. And pick up every movement. They pick up every loser. With jaded eyes and features. You think they really care. I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch. You better think about it, baby. I ain't no god. My also old go-to when I was drinking was Incubus. Wish you were here. Oh, that's a good, uh, one. A good one. But I would dedicate it to my cousin Matthew that died in Afghanistan. And I don't have a cousin Matthew that died <laughs> okay. in Afghanistan. I don't feel- <laughs> and I would do it just to bum everyone no, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would go, uh, I would go, cousin Matthew, ah! Wish you were here, yeah. cousin Matthew. I and everyone would just be like, I felt like you I fucking wish. I felt you. like before he finished the story, you knew exactly where he was going or something. I mean, I was just—it was a funny thing to to say, and isn't then I was fun? worried that he was a real person. Isn't is that fun? It is fun. fun. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, just ruining everyone's night. I like when oh, people uh, put Matthew. when people put curse words that aren't in the original song in the karaoke. <laughs> Lips of a fucking angel. Yeah, my friend did Benny, Lips. Benny and the Jets. Oh, Benny, Benny and, and the, the Jets, motherfucker. Jets. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yo, let's hit this hinder. Let's hear this out right now. I forgot yes. how the songs. I don't even remember. Emmanuel Shariki, shout out, friend, the, the other girl in it. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's how it starts. So late. It's wardrobe, dude. Right? Damn, who was that girl? That's the other girl. That's Ian's cousin, Matthew. <laughs> I don't even know the lyrics. They just followed me on Instagram. Hard. Wow. I'm, and they reposted one of my things. Who's in the next room? Sometimes I wish it was you. I got a little bit. Dude, I love a song with a good hook. Ready? <laughs> Here it comes. Okay. Hook. Hear your <laughs> voice. <laughs> Say my name. It sounds so sweet. Lips I of mean, an dude, angel. The long scarf, the 50s mic. Yep. The guy with the, the teased part. hair. But They're in a house with candles. But hard to be, be faithful. faithful. Uh. Lips of an angel. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, give me my leather jacket and boots That's right. right now. That's right. Wow. That's a, can we get Wish You Were Here on here? Let's get Wish You Were Here. Let's get that song. Dude, Jose Pacias, that's their drummer's name, right? How do you know that? Because he's really good. Dude, you are autistic with drums. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's sad. I'm trying to think. I guess I'm this I should way be with better like at the them. music. Let's get let's get uh, let's get a little let's get a little sing along with Incubus real fast. Uh, d- it, we'll let you do your intro. Incubus hard. No, no, no we'll let you do your intro. So Matthew, 
Hey, everybody. Thanks for letting me get up here tonight. I know we're having fun, but I just want to dedicate this to uh, my cousin, Matthew. Woo! We yeah. lost him in uh, oh, Operation oh, Iraqi oh. Freedom, oh. Afghanistan. He spearheaded the charge into Fallujah. We're never going to forget him, man. Okay, this song okay. goes out to him. Yeah, Cousin Matthew, you may be dead, but your memory lives on forever. Here it comes. <laughs> Matthew! Matthew! <laughs> Guys. I love you, Matthew. Hey. Dig my toes into the sand. Like you yep. did. Oh, <laughs> she makes a nose <laughs> I lean against the wind. Kill an Afghan baby. <laughs> Thought he had a happy. bomb. Happy. happy. I, I fucking wish, wish you were here. Cousin Matthew, I, I, Matthew, I fucking wish, wish you were, were here. here. Cousin Matthew, why'd I, you go? <laughs> oh, Thank, you Thank you for your service. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Uh, Lost right. but not forgotten. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, Seeing his casket draped in an American flag <laughs> will never leave my eyes. Wish, Wish you, you were here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, with all this laughter, I don't know how we're going to do this next one, but uh, song, song you, you play, play when you're feel feeling sad. Yeah. Thursday, understanding in a car crash. Ooh. Down, 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 Damn. Down, down. I don't know Ooh, why. and we pulled up the music video for it, too? Ooh. Dude, I love that back in the day. Those bands would do the spinning of the mics all the time. Oh, Taking Back the Sunday. Bass. Big band for that. Yeah. I think this reminds me of sadness because I was facing a lot of rejection with girls at this time. Oh, okay. It was a lot of... Um, Is this high school you know, for you? Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of like, hey, we're friends, but... What if we were more? I like you. Yeah. He's like, no. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard this in forever. Oh, this dude's chalking your style, dude. Look at his teeth. Who, me? Oh, he got a gap. Yeah. Shout out Jeff Rickley. <laughs> Ooh. Third day. Third, third thing. <laughs> Ooh. Every time you guys go ooh, I think it's personal because I just farted, and I'm uh, really sorry if you smell it. No, no, no. But every time you go ooh, I'm like, oh, did you? Do you? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm no, sorry. No, it's no, the no. coffee. No. <laughs> Time to taste. That wow. mic, the way they would hold it too. Like, yeah. Oh, that's how I hold it when I sing. Yeah. That's that shit back in the day, dude. So you, you, uh, you dealt with a lot of rejection. Oh yeah. Oh man, wasn't it tough? Yeah. Right. In high so, school. dude, when you're when you're in school, that rejection mm -hmm. is tough from girls. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta see, see them every the day. Next day. You gotta yeah. see, yeah. see yeah. them the next day. It's like, and you and you're over here like, you sure you don't like me? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just check it. Was that a was joke a yesterday? Loser. Right? Maybe if you listen to this mix CD I make you on the seventh <laughs> song, you'll know what I mean. Third verse, you'll understand. Yeah, you'll love. understand, yeah. dog. So there was there's one story. Of, uh, this was in junior high, right? Uh, and I, I think it was the first junior high dance I think I went to, right? Because I didn't really go to them, but I liked this girl. And I was like, man, I'm going to go to this dance. I'm going to ask this girl to dance with me because I liked it, right? And I remember they started playing this genuine song, right? Pony? Pony? No. Yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah just fucking, what's uh -huh. up, baby? No, no, no. It wasn't Pony. It was a beautiful song, right? Um, and it was a slow song. And I, I was like, oh, I should it. Oh, shit, this is perfect. You like this song, too. So I go up to ask her. I said, hey, uh, uh, do you want to dance? And she was like, no, my feet are tired. And oh! I was like, no, 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 no. Here it goes. Here goes, Ian. Here it goes. Here it goes. So feet were tired. I was like, oh, hey, I completely get it. I was like, yeah, that's that's totally understandable. Because I was that guy. You yeah. know, I wasn't I wasn't going to, like, press it. I was like, oh. oh I'm Mr. Understand guy. Yeah, I, I'm Mr. Understand <laughs> guy. So then I, I walk away. Dog, literally, same song. She's dancing with another guy. Oh, I thought you were tired. Yeah. Well, I guess she rested up rejecting and, and you. It, you know what was so funny? <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just like, a minute to recharge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What was funny about it, this was like a movie. I'm sitting here, like, in the middle, like, outside of the dance circle, just kind of like, you know, 
looking or whatever, and I see through like a crowd of like people her dancing with the other. I have the image still in my head to this Damn. day. I just was looking for this meme. It's pretty funny. It said, did you listen to the song I told you to listen to so you could better understand my psyche or do you want me to die? <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah. That was me in junior high with, lo- with mixtapes. Well, bro, I when I go back to my mom's, I find my old CD booklets. Yeah. And I, I play these CDs. I do that when I go back to your mom's, at- too. Anyway. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't turn it off. Oh, man, it's cool. She's just sick. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sick of your shit, dude. That's all she talks I'm about. I'm sick of your she's, shit, Ian. <laughs> um, she, uh, oh, oh yeah, every yeah. every mix CD was a mix, a uh, uh, love letter in audio. Uh, oh, of course, wow. you know, of just course. Like that was just the thing to do. And, Christina, she don't know I exist. By uh, Catch Twenty Two, might as well have been called Lillian. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember crying to I Will Buy You a New Life by Everclear. Like I was oh like in my the God. third, fourth grade, and I was yeah. like, I will buy you. I, was, I had no money. <laughs> I swear, girl, I got you. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, now transition, song that reminds you of love. Well, recently it's Angel Dust, Big One, and Squeeze. Mm. Is that you? I love Big One Bro, so it's the perfect much. love song. It's, it's so great. The I played, perfect I played this love song. Before. Okay. Yeah, let's play that one. I fucking love this song. I know this album. Yeah. I, yeah. This one is it's a, a big, big one. one. I love you. Shout out to the Descendants, like huh? no one else to never love you. Oh, it gets the Descendants vibe? Yeah. This is, this is a... Uh, no, it just seems like a child of that yeah. thing. In a good way. And then when Homegirl comes in... Don't let me be your only one. I wanna be your only one. Let me be your only one. Big be your big. You know Squeeze? Off the same album? Play it for me. Bro, this is like a. First of all, I love this album because the production Mm. on it is fucking. It's the one with Set Me Up on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Angel Does Squeeze. Squeeze is such a good song. La 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 la. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> she says hi I know it's like good. I say hello dun, 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 dun. It's, you'll, you'll it's like, the like drums here such too. a good rocker song uh, It's uh, uh, smooth right It's here. dirty uh, 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 uh. Oh it's great Right This record sounds so good You, you hear that guitar You can hear everything Yeah Clearly Ready Here it comes Yeah And then Ooh. Uh. Right? Awesome, yeah. It's like this punk rock rockabilly in a sense. Yeah, almost like Weezer is. You, sh- you can shake your hips to this. You know what I mean? So much to live for. Oh, Here it comes. Please don't hex me with your love. La 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 la. These are great love songs. This is Daniel Fang. Uh, drums. yeah, he drummed this. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. La 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 la. Um, after you... I taped my, I taped my special December third in mm-hmm. New York City. Yeah. And uh, congrats after, by the way. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you. YouTube.com slash and Pod. It's coming out on the podcast. Hell YouTube. Yeah. I'm excited. You're gonna love it. But I went and hopped on the bus with. Angel Dust and just hit a couple towns with them. I didn't even do comedy. I just like went to hang and every awesome. night I was like, Can you please play Squeeze? And they were like, No, we will not. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the AD, I thought we were still talking about your cousin. I thought it stood for Afghani Desert. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did you think of that one when we were taking that long piss? <laughs> Sadly, that for going to no, my it would have been better. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. gosh. Uh, um, okay, now your favorite workout slash hype song. E Town Concrete. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. They're Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Elizabethtown, New Jersey. E Town yeah. Concrete. This is a great song. New track. Shout out Ant Money. I will say, or like Metallica, man. Just yeah. popping on. Motor fucking... Breath is my shit. Oh, oh Motor Breath yeah. is amazing. Before they bury me, that I would get mine. It's this time to shine. All I did was climb. Because all I did was climb. 
Rhyme. You know Joel rhymes too. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, hit it, Joel. Nah. This guy freestyles like it's nothing. Shut up. What's the singer's name? What's homie's name? I met him Ant recently. Money. Ant Money. Yeah, yeah, I met him recently. Here it comes. At a Mad Ball Biohazard show. I love that. Yeah. Millie, but you know those. Private jets. Yeah, I flew in those. Neck froze, wrist cold in the newest rolls. Maneuver. I feel like I should be in like a puffy ass jacket from Timberlands. Just wait. Right? Just wait. I mean, when this kicks in, you're doing. I mean, you're pumping till failure. Oh, really? Bitch! Oh, oh ooh, shit. Uh, I think I'm on 40 right now. I mean, here it comes. Oh. This is us right here. This Ready? Us right here. Damn. That shit's hard. Oh, this is new, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a good that's a good workout yeah, hype song. That's great. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Bro, this fucking this episode is great. Yeah. Uh okay. Ooh, okay. Desert album. Desert album. Oh, I'm curious. Woo! Nirvana in utero. Great. Amazing. Can listen to it a million times. Yep. Awesome. I was just in Seattle. I went to Kurt Cobain's house. You did the whole, yeah. Yes. Amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. God, I love Nirvana. That area is beautiful, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, so, my God. Right on the water. I, I, I'm curious. What, what's your favorite song off the song? Sendless Apprentice. Okay. Hell yeah. Boom, boom, da, boom. Have you seen that little clip of Dave Grohl uh, playing it recently? No. Uh, oh, yeah. He did Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, no, did he uh, do a couple songs? It was just like a real quick thing. Uh mm. That uh, he was playing homie uh, that drum part. Uh, oh, uh, Jesus! Golly, set me on fucking fire! Oh dog. my god, dude! And also. Um, man, is it Francis Farmer? I forget the song, but the lyric, I miss the comfort in being sad. I Holy miss fuck. The comfort in being sad. Look how big that fucking kick drum is. Oh, Dave Grohl's drums are yeah, fucking I know. huge. The floor tom, rack tom. One of my favorite songs off this album is Radio Friendly Unit Shifter. Yes. And they have an amazing performance from MTV's Live and Loud mm. of, that, of that song. And they they open with it, and it's just fucking. Wait, are you are you searching for that? Oh no, what are you? Oh, I thought you, you were want? searching for it. Hold on, I can't wait till my my I they answer my final question. Yeah, I can't either. The, but I also can. <laughs> wait, the answer of your what? The final, final question. question. Oh yeah, yeah, man, I wanted to show him that uh, MTV. Oh, Live radio album. shifter. Uh, yeah, radio it. radio friendly unit shifter. Yes. Man, what song? MTV I th Live and Loud. I think it is Francis. I miss the comfort in being sad. I miss the comfort. God, what do you have me? Uh, so radio friendly unit shifter. Boom boom da boom ba da ba da ba da boom. And then it's that. Uh, yeah, Francis Farmer. Yes. It's that top performance. I miss the comfort in being sad. And uh, what's cool is the way. So Pat Smear from the Germ. Was the second guitarist, but my favorite part is this. SSD. This is yeah. they opened up with this, and watch Pat throw his cigarette as they kick off into it. Oh, dude! How hard was that? So cool! How cool was that? So fucking cool! How cool was dude, that? Having fucking first of all, Pat Smear's career is insane. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Germs, Nirvana to Foo Fighters, bro. Well, Dave Grohl, Scream, Nirvana, yes, Foo Fighters, yes, you know? dude. I'll tell you, how cool is it? And and I just realized two of my favorite bands uh, are not like the quintessential type of like music I'm like super super into. But Nirvana 
had Pat Smear from the Germs, punk rock, and Metallica has Rob Trullo from Suicidal, oh, Suicidal Tendencies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's so cool that these like gigantic bands fucking love the shit that now we love. Now this is what it's like when worlds oh, collide. Oh, Trujillo yeah. played for Ozzy Man. too for a while. Uh, heavy, heavy. Who? Uh, Robert Trujillo That's right. he played he for did. Ozzy. Yeah, yes. did. Yeah. yeah. Pull up um, Perry Mason, Ozzy Osbourne, what uh, a tune. Ozfest. What a tune. Dude, I, I, yeah, I just got back this. into Machine Head. You ever fuck with them? Yeah. I, I, know, I never sure. got yeah, Message in a Bottle. <gasps> the live one. Are you looking for a live one? Yeah, version? this is it. This is it. Also, the drummer for Faith No More was in was in this lineup, too. The drummer for Faith No More uh, was in Corn for a hot second. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when David hurt his arm. Yeah. Yeah, fast forward a little bit. Uh, just, just till the music right there, probably. Yeah. Right here. Watch when the bass kicks in, dude. This Robert Trujillo used good to play song. barefoot with the braids and shit. It was oh, so cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's such a fucking, like, lizard on stage. Here we oh, go. Dude. Watch. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. I learned how to play that just because I was, like, fucking obsessed with that. Look at that crowd. Dun, Look at that crowd. Dun, 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 dun. Come what a lineup he had. Dude, that guitar part brings you to like... Uh, I'm getting stressed out. I'm getting stressed out. I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I... Okay, switch. Okay, thank <laughs> Come on! Ooh. Yeah, anyway. So that's good. heavy as fuck. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm ready for this. Hell yeah. So here it is. I think I built it up too much. You did? No, play, push the, oh, oh, so, okay, so guilty, guilty pleasure, pleasure song. song. We're not looking. Okay, now, okay, move. It. <laughs> okay, I'm going to close my eyes until it plays. No, 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 there's no play. Okay, I want to look. Look, Chappelle. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's audio only people here. <laughs> I feel says, guilty for nothing. I feel guilty for nothing. I that's wear how, it all that's like, I feel like that's like a Conor McGregor quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And and when I wrote that, I was thinking of Band of Nothing, you know them? Uh, uh, you, dude, you got to listen to Nothing. Ni oh, Nikki, Nothing, Nikki Nothing. Palermo. Yes, yeah, Nothing, yeah. yes, I know Old nothing. horror show, great band, they'll never reunite, yeah. pisses me off. But uh, they have a uh, uh, guilty of everything, but mm. I'm guilty of nothing. No, no guilt, guilt. nothing. Never. No guilt, never, mm -hmm. nothing. If yep. you fucking like it, you like it. That's for my interest, but I am full of guilt all the time for everything <laughs> else. <laughs> I know. I'm sitting here like, I was like, I'm going to close my eyes till I fucking hear it. And then I, I know, just, I know, I know. So like, oh, you're not going to yeah. hear it. I know. I, I filled it up too much. You, you like six, six Pence and on the Richer? Dude, kiss me. Yeah. I, I don't like this friendship. Why? Because I... You're here too. You want me to kiss you? Hell no, I don't want to kiss. There you go. That's where you go wrong. Hell no, I don't want to kiss. I love you. <laughs> Can you isolate that? That was amazing. That's when I get just Southern black. <laughs> yeah. I don't want no kiss. Now, I don't want no know? kiss. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Start name. I'll tell you. I'm not guilty of nothing. Yeah. I like that. Tattoo. I'll I know, listen. I, I, I always Hell think yeah. about. It. I want to. I kind of want to change that question because I. I feel like most people don't feel guilty nowadays. It should be. It should be song people don't think you would like. Yeah, that's ah uh, right. interesting. Do you yes. have the one for that? Oh, you have one. I don't know. So people will be like, "You like that?" Oh, we gotta ask him the one question too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Go, go ahead, ask him. Okay, well, I know you just did it. you just did one, but in the future, uh, your next special, what song will you come out to? Oh, um, what did you come out to the, for? This I song? came out to King Nine Art of War, and then I close with uh, Myopic by Drug Church. Damn. Yeah. Um, and in an intro thing I'm doing, I it's uh, I'm getting one of my favorite ska bands, Cat Bite, to cover Sell Out by Real Big Fish. Oh, fuck. Damn. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to call a guy about that. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to talk to me next year when I fucking. Okay. When he feels so, it. Well, that, I've, well that's, I've always... let, let's close with his walkout song. Yes. Let's close with it. What were you going to say? You always. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've always wanted to um, 
have something involving hybrid moments by the Misfits. Oh, yeah. I just watched uh, Thanksgiving that that movie. They close they at the ro- the end credits. So good. That song it's rolls so, and it's that's, great. That's, that's, that's close song. with hybrid moments. Yes, P- hybrid moments. Misfits. There's oh, it might have been where Eagles Dare actually. Yeah, you lost. Yeah, Never lost. No longer friends. <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> yeah, we're lovers. Yes. Yep. New creatures consensually make love. Just hang on that fucking ride. Hang out on that ride, simple. That's Robo, huh? Uh, it might be. Maybe not. Ooh, baby, when you cry, your face is momentary. You hide your looks behind the score. In hybrid moments, with me and Friday. Well, Ian, thank you so much dude, for doing this. Yeah, dude. And this it, is when, a when, cool. And in March, I'll be out there. Yes. All right. You're coming on the pod. Coming on the pod. We're hanging out. I'm not coming on the pod, it's but be I'll, great. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do the pod. We're going to jerk you off on the pod. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> we're check the it way out. he said yeah. it, we're going to jerk you off on the pod. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do yeah, about like, it. I felt it. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, there's nothing. Yeah, this is about, we would have been having this conversation anyway, so it's just nice to get it on. Hell you know yeah. what? Actually, I got to tell you, I got to tell you how Ian and I met. Right? You ready for this? Sure. So Shane Gillis was doing Brea Improv, right? And I pulled up uh, just to kick it and ended up like, you know, doing doing some sets on the show or whatever. And Ian and I had never met. And, you know, I'm sitting here talking to him and he said something. I, I can't remember. We just started talking about music. Right. Oh, Casually. they. And I, so I was opening for Shane and they go, yeah, he was, what's he, your walkout song? And I go, real big fish. Sell. Yeah. Out. And I was just like, who are you? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I, I turned my head and just started talking. Right. And then he was talking about like his favorite bands and. He said he and, and this is this was out any, knowing anything about me. He said H two O was one of his favorite bands, wow. and I was like, I'm best friends with Toby Morris. Wow. And he goes, No way. And then I was like, One sec. And I Facetime, and Toby answered, and I was like, Hell Look yeah. at that. Hell and yeah. then we were backstage just going off on Dude, everything. We were geeking out we to were the geeking. point where it alienated us. Yeah. And then what did Shane Same say? When I, I met forgot, him, I forgot what Shane said <laughs> yeah. about us. When Shane said so, yeah, because like, me and Ian were just in the corner yeah. like, because oh, Shane's is. Shane's a joy goblin. Yeah. Anytime there's joy, he pops up, and instead of going boo, he goes gay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what he called us. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. like gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So shout out to Shane Gillis for yes. getting us connected. The king yeah. and the king, you know. And yeah. uh, dude, thank you for coming on. Dude, oh, thanks, always. Dude. This is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. I had a blast. This yeah. is the coolest. All right, yeah. I got to yeah. pee. Bye, guys. Bye. Lesser known characters.